It was devastating. That was 72-year-old Lainey Weitz's reaction to her unexpected Parkinson's diagnosis. I came home and cried with my husband and um, said, you can give up, you can give in, or you can fight back. She decided to fight back, now using exercise as her superpower. Uh, exercise is one of those things that helps delay progression. Weitz finds that the more active she is, her trembling and stiffness subside. They are two symptoms associated with Parkinson's disease. This firecracker has always been an athlete, but since her diagnosis, she's ramped up her regimen. Biking, golf, boxing, pickleball, ping pong, you name it, Weitz probably does it. Whereas my friends who play pickleball and are neurotypical, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, that's their only activity of the day, mm -hmm. I've already done my jog or my heavy bag. So it doesn't stop. The success of fitness slowing down the progression of her disease took her to Google to see what else was out there. She found ping pong Parkinson's in New York. And since there's nothing local here, I started saying, well, why not here? Whites went to the director of the West Hartford Senior Center and Parky Pong was born. I think it's also an important message that if you have a need and you're living in your community, that you bring that to the attention of your senior center um, because we're here to help. Uh, we're here to um, provide programming. A group of adults with neurological diagnosis now meet every Wednesday at the senior center from 1 to 3 in the afternoon. And take my word for it, these games get intense. Once I heard about this program, I thought immediately it was in my wheelhouse. Boy, who's 90 years old in a wheelchair playing ping pong to see him come and overcome his frustration and get activity and smile and laugh has been wonderful. Whites and her friendly competitors hope a flick of the wrist and speedy leg movement keep them in the early stages of the disease for years to come. In West Hartford, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.